All right, what's going on guys? It's Big Rig, Big Rig Outdoors again. Today's review is more fishing stuff. This is the Grand Buy uh, fishing tool set off of Amazon. I think it was about, I don't even remember. It's, I think it's like coupon or something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll post prices up uh, and links in the description below. Um, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to build my channel here. Um, best way I think I can do it is just doing these little reviews and uh, later on as the fishing season gets going away here because I live in southeastern Pennsylvania and the waters warm up I'll be doing a whole bunch more videos um, uh, I'm into musky fishing, trout fishing, cat fishing, anything anything really um, I also got a nice little jet boat that I built by hand, and that's going to be coming up in a new video here. But let's get to this. So, package includes one digital fish weighing scale. Batteries are not included. Shocking. Uh, one fish hook remover, one plastic fish gripper, and one spring lanyard coil. Please note that the Digital fish weighing scales powered by two AAA batteries, of which I don't have any on hand right now. Unless I do, which I don't. Um, they're in the truck. Let's see. Turn off automatic turn off after two minutes of no operation. Preserve time and energy for best service. For any reason you're not satisfied with the products, so please free whatever. These kind of bags. Obviously made in China, Chinesium, whatever you want to call them. First thing I'm going to grab out of here is the fish grippers. Let's get these open. Alright, these come with a nice lanyard. Adjustable little swivel nut here. A little um, Nice open wide jaw here you can easily get you know fish in there and I like how these are actually kind of recurved re um, so it's not really pinching the fish's mouth it's necessarily just kind of hooking in there uh, my real fish grips aren't really like this design they're a little different the plastic itself feels pretty good you can't really uh, complain here it feels like just standard ABS plastic Looks like it's held together with a series of pressed pins here. You can see that. They look like they have little... Oh, they're like heated pressed inserts kind of ordeal. You're using 3D printing. It said fishing grip on the side here. But yeah, nice audible click. And this is oh, and this is pretty tight. I mean, I'm pulling pretty hard, and I can only get it open about an eighth of an inch there. So that's not too bad. They're they're pretty light. They're a lot lighter than the I think the standard fish grips. I have a pair of them somewhere around here. Don't have a scale or any of that stuff ready on hand. But I can tell you that right now that this feels a lot lighter. And it feels just as strong, surprisingly. It feels good in the hands. Nice ergonomic. I'm, you know, I got pretty big hands. I'm six foot four. Pretty nice. Not too bad. Considering I think I only paid fifteen dollars for this, I think. Up next is the fishing scale. I don't really have much hopes for this. Uh, it looks like it is in. It is definitely metric. Accuracy is claimed to be within 10 grams. That's a pretty bold statement there. Oh, it's got some standard uh, readings right there. I don't know if you can see that. Max weight is 50 kilograms or 110 pounds. Got a backlight. Two 
the AAA batteries. I don't have any. The package comes with uh, English, Chinesium. Instructions. Oh. It looks like the handle here kind of tucks away, but not all the way. It's kind of, it is what it is. It's kind of folds down and does all kinds of wonky stuff. So that's immediately a uh, issue with me. I'm pretty sure I could tighten up these screws here on the side and everything would be okay. Let's see. It looks, oh, looks like the hook itself snaps in back there for storage so that's how it should be stored pop that out grab it like that on off tear obviously oh it looks like it does have a unit button so you can switch so you can switch it from metric to standard uh, let's see oh deviation here is going to be uh, 0 to 10 kilograms will be within 5 grams. 10 to 50 kilograms will be within 10 grams. Kilograms into 10 grams. I don't know about that. Oh, and looks like right here is a ruler. And you look at that. It's pretty neat. It's not bad. It feels okay. It's got an okay feel. A little, a little jank. The box itself feels like it's all right. Just does not look to be any any way, shape, form, or waterproof. So keep that in mind. So. Next, final product here. We have the lanyard. It's got a split ring here. Not too bad. Not too strong. Not too loose. Little carabiner here, a little weak. Looks to be stretches out about 18, maybe 18 inches or so, 18, 24 inches. This is really uh, the only reason why I really bought this kit was I wanted these little little de hooker here. You know, it's got the little hook in here and go in there and. Um, I like to catch and release a lot of my trout, so I'm hoping this can help me save uh, save a few of them. Then I'll take them home. But this feels okay. This feels a little cheap and plasticky. Doesn't feel as good as this does. Uh, looks like it's got some sort of painted aluminum um, two metal tube here. Feels pretty smooth. It's definitely a steel spring in there. It looks like there's a plastic insert there to try to help guide things. Sounds like she needs a little bit of three in one. But I think I paid $15 for this the whole kit. And you get yourself some fish grips, which you can't even buy for that price alone. You get this, you get this, a little lanyard, and you get a fishing scale. You know. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. All that for I think about 15, 20 bucks. So, I'll be using these over the season. You'll probably see them in my videos in this upcoming year. I'm gonna try to be cranking up as many videos as possible. Uh, good content, bunch of fishing, trout fishing. I'm, I'm gonna try to keep the trout fishing stuff to a minimum. Um, I do fly fishing, I do normal spinner fishing uh, I got some tinkara rods um, I do all kinds of stuff like that I go out for, out for after natural trout or stock trout it's all good I do a little bit of everything I just don't like to beat one topic too hard I do a bunch of catfishing um, I got a boat now so all that is the upcoming videos I like to do some musky fishing river floats the whole nine um, keep things interesting and exciting for you guys uh, I know in southeastern Pennsylvania there's not too many youtubers out there 
Uh, there's a couple, uh, but they don't really explore too much. They don't go off the beaten path. Um, but my boy, Eastern PA Fishing, you know, he's the one I've been fishing with primarily uh, for a little while now. He's my uh, little fishing partner in the area. And we've been discovering new fishing holes and stuff like that together. So, um, appreciate you guys watching. Looking out for this review. The link will be in the description for this stuff. Uh, I can't promise you what the price is going to be at the time I wish I post this. It could change. Amazon likes to do all that. So, thank you. And have a great day.